Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll be going to explain you XMPP protocol in great details. Let me show you outlines of this video first. So in this video, first I'll cover basics of XMPP. Then I'll explain you XMPP stanzas. After that, I'll explain you XMPP architecture. After that, I'll cover XMPP features and use cases of XMPP. So let us start this video with first agenda that is basics of XMPP. First of all, one should know what is the full form. The reason is based on full form, one can understand the meaning of that protocol, right? So XMPP means extensible messaging presence protocol. So this protocol is extensible. Extensible means here with this protocol, many new features can be added in future, right? Messaging means this protocol is designed for messaging system. Like you have chat system for that, this protocol is designed. Presence means when somebody message at that time, one can see online status of their contacts. So that is how this protocol is there. So based on this elaboration, I think you might have understood this protocol is designed for messaging system, right? So it is a protocol that is used to build chat system like WhatsApp, right? See, it uses XML language to exchange data in between client and server. So here we will be using XML language for exchange of data in between client and server, right? See, extensible means here with this protocol, many new features can be added, right? Messaging means here one to one or group messages can be forwarded like we do it in WhatsApp. Presence means one can see online status based on contact list. Like if you are there in my contact list in WhatsApp, then I can see your online status. But for that in settings, you should have allowed your contacts to see that, right? So here, see online status of user can be seen based on settings of user, right? So that is how basics are there with this protocol. Now I'll explain you XMPP stanzas. See stanzas means what? Stanzas means it is a basic unit of communication in XMPP. Here what we do? We do communication by messages. So basic unit of message is stanzas that one can say, right? There are three types of stanzas which we use it in XMPP. See first is message stanza. Message stanza means as if you want to send messages, then that is message stanza. Second is presence. See presence stanza that is used to send online status information and to control subscription status between contacts. So presence stanza that one should that one uses to identify online status of user as well as it is used to control subscriptions in between different contacts, right? And then IQ stanza is there. IQ means info query. It is used to get some information from the server or to set or apply some settings. So from server, if you want to get some information, like as if you want to add your profile status, where you are not sending message to anyone, you are just setting your profile on your status, right? Or as if you want to see how settings are there with your profile, as if you want to update settings of your profile. So in that case, IQ stanzas that we are using over here, right? So that is how different types of messages or one can say different types of stanzas are there with XMPP protocol, right? Now I'll explain you architecture of XMPP protocol. See this architecture that I have took it from the website of IBM in which you can understand one thing very clearly. See XMPP can be interconnected with varieties of protocols. Like you can have SMS short message service protocol interconnection with XMPP. You can have SMTP protocol interconnection with XMPP. See SMTP is simple mail transfer protocol, which we use it for email transfer. If you observe, 
see this SMS client that is connected with SMS server and for interconnection of SMS with XMBP, there is XMBP gateway. So XMBP gateway that provides interconnection of other protocol with XMBP, right? If you observe here, we are having SMTP client means user is using simple mail transfer protocol that is connected to SMTP server and for interconnection of SMTP with XMBP, we have XMBP gateway, right? Here we are having XMBP architecture, right? In which you see XMBP clients are connected with XMBP server and on internet, all the servers are allowed to interconnected with each other, right? In short, one can say XMPP protocol supports other protocols even, right? And for that translation, we have XMPP gateway, right? So that is the basic architecture is there. Now, let us talk about features of XMPP. See peer-to-peer -peer sessions that can be established over here. Peer-to-peer -peer or you can say machine-to-machine -machine, uh, interconnection that one can have it with the use of XMPP where machine-to-machine -machine message forwarding is possible over here, right? And that is possible across diverse set of networks. So as I have shown you in architecture, like different types of protocols can even interconnected with each other, right? So with different diverse network also, one can have message forwarding over here. See, next is multi-user chat. So here, XMPP supports group chat or conference chat, where in group as well as in conference, one can forward the data, right? See, encryption is provided over here. For point-to-point -point encryption, TLS is used. TLS is transport layer security, right? And see, OTR means of the record messaging is an extension of XMPP that enables encryption of messages and data. So here OTR is there, which is extension of XMPP by which also encryption is done and TLS is also provided over here, transport layer security at where we provide encryption of data, right? So all the data forwarded by XMPP is encrypted data that one can say. See next is connection to other protocols, right? So I have shown that in architecture even. See XMPP gateways that is providing interconnection of other protocols like SMS, and SMTP, right? So here, see with the use of XMPP gateways, we can have interconnection of different protocols which are used for messaging, right? Like SMS is used for messaging, simple mail transport protocol that is also used for email message, right? So XMPP that is therefore live messaging system, right? But interconnection of XMPP can be done with the with SMS as well as with a simple mail transfer protocol, right? Now, let us see use cases of XMPP. There are so many use cases. I'll be listing few only over here, right? So we can have real-time web chat with the use of XMPP. We can have instant messages. Like if you want to get OTP instant, then that can be done with the use of, of XMPP, right? See real-time group, group chat that you used to have it in WhatsApp which is a use case of XMPP that one can say. IoT device control can be done. So if you want to control any device, like as if you want to turn on AC, then you can send a message, right? By user control, you can forward that on server. And if you have IoT system, by which one can control that even. Likewise, there can be so many IoT control system that is possible over here. See online gaming at where also XMPP is used. Nowadays, people are having so many online, online gaming uh, applications, right? In which they used to talk, they used to chat during their online game. So in that also XMPP is used. See, voice over IP. So IP call, that one can have it with this even, right? See, geolocation, that can be there with XMPP. System control can be done by XMPP one can have push notification with XMPP. So that is how there are so many use cases which is there with XMPP protocol. I hope you have understood this session. Still is 
anything that you like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video